Hi, so what I got here is a digital photo frame by Drag and Touch, and this is the Classic 10, which has a 10-inch screen. So you notice that uh, right now I have it playing in the slideshow mode. So uh, the reason why I got this is mainly for uh, my Mother's Day present. So the reason why I like this as a Mother's Day present is that it has a very classic look to it. So, so this is what traditional, uh, you know, people probably older than uh, 50, 60 years old, or even uh, in their 40s, might uh, like this type of look because it lo does look like a classic photo frame. This photo frame itself is about 13 inches from corner to corner. The screen itself is 10 inches, but it displays the photos like if it was a just a normal plain old photo. So um, I like the, that aspect of it versus more techy Amazon devices and also you know the the Google Homes. So when the photo frame boots up, it actually has a home screen. The home screen has a slideshow, has videos, has the settings here, has the weather, and also has a calendar. So in the slideshow, you could actually view all of the thumbnails, and you could scroll all the way through. Now, I primarily use a SD card, so I copy all my photos on an SD card. The photo frame itself also displays and plays videos in a loop. So this is a fairly decent feature of the photo frame. This photo frame is actually an Android tablet. Um, it does have the touch screen here. So it's a simplified version of an Android tablet. You'll notice it has internal storage. The internal storage has 16 gigabytes with 11 free. Now I would recommend that you only use eight gigs worth of that. Otherwise it slows down a lot. So don't fill it up. Don't fill up the internal storage. Instead, use an SD card and load all your photos here. Now, uh, this does give you, you know, ability to select and delete photos. I am going to exit out of this. And the other way is also to load photos via the Smart App. Now, that was the slideshow. Let me show you the videos. Now, the videos. You can see I have MP4s loaded. It plays MP3s, MP4s, and move files. It does not play AVI files. So just keep that in mind. Again, it has the internal storage, the SD card. It also supports a thumb drive. So in the back here, you, you can see all three. I have my SD card. That's a uh, headphones and that supports a thumb drive so you could also plug in a thumb drive and have the photos play off of the thumb drive in addition to the internal memory that it has so it does play it does play the videos here so let me just go ahead and you know show particular video and you could see that you can see the many videos I had, and, and once again, this is a touch screen. It's playing the video now. It also plays sound. So it has the video and the sound along with it. There are two speakers in the back here. Um, now I see I'm scrolling through. So once I play the videos, it'll play it in a loop. So that is what's on the home screen. is a slideshow in the videos. There's the settings, and let me just show you all of the settings. So this is the user management, which manages the users of the smart app. So the smart app can actually send photos to this photo frame via the Wi-Fi using an email address. And you could accept particular user requests before they can actually send the photos. Uh, it also has an FTP server that's a little bit techy. Uh, the FTP server allows you to copy photos via your uh, internal network uh, into the photo frame directly and into its storage. Now this is the Wi-Fi. So this is a network device. You put in the Wi-Fi password here. Now the album settings, there's the full screen, the slideshow. You, you could have you know, particular timings the slideshow mode, the transition or the picking of the photos could be sequential or it could be random. I have over 10,000 photos I've loaded on this, so obviously I want it random. Uh, the slideshow interval, you know, how long a particular picture 
is shown so it goes from five seconds to five minutes and because I have 10,000 photos I've chosen five seconds and the transition from one to the other it has a bunch of other transitions you know where it fades in fades out rotates uh, you know have a cube accordion you know the fading the center fade the center stack I just chose random and you could have the ability to just delete the photos and then that's restoring the defaults the system settings there's the media volume so so that's the volume of the videos the brightness and auto rotate of the pictures the date and time and uh, the language so it does support multiple languages once again this is a simplified version of an Android tablet it has the auto shut off so you could actually sleep the tablet in particular times of the day and then that's just the factory reset and if you go into one of these so so if I go into my photos here I could actually also navigate using the swipe so once again it is just like a normal tablet I could tap it and uh, expose to to me more settings so just keep that in mind um, and I could go home now the default is to show the slideshow so just keep that in mind uh, so so those are the core functionalities here there's also a weather so because this is an internet device it does display the photograph uh, in the context of uh, weather information as well as here for the calendar same thing um, and then you could also set an alarm if you want because this photo frame is a tablet you can turn it both ways so the way the stand is designed is you could have it landscape or you could have it portrait mode so when you have a portrait mode you notice it flipped but for particular for particular photos you know you could have it landscape now if I flip it around again you could see this particular picture as I flip it around, it goes, you know, to portrait mode. So just keep that in mind, it supports both modes. Now from the app, I could transfer files. So I have taken a photograph on this tablet here. I'm going to choose files, photo, and I'm going to choose this particular photo that I have taken a picture of. I'm going to click apply. Now I've selected my album. That I want to deliver this app to and I could choose other photos but I'm just going to choose this particular one and I am just going to choose send and it is uploading it says it was sent successfully here and you could see on the device here I have one photo has been successfully sent and so there you go this is the Dragon Touch Classic 10 and I will have this in the description area of the video and I hope this helps and please subscribe and thank you for watching.